What's going on? Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It's your boy Alex and I'm back today with another reaction video. Yes, I've heard this song. In the end by Linkin Park, I'm fucking American. I've heard it. I almost popped my jaw to sock it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, man, nothing more to be said. This is one of Linkin Park's most famous songs. Everybody loves it. This brings me back to my fifth, sixth grade years, but I'm not gonna react to the Hybrid Theory album and jump over in the end. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Let's get it, man. Links to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. And let's get it, man. That's so iconic, dude. So iconic. That piano right there, love it. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I'm designed just trying to explain in due time. All I know, time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. It's so unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on. Didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go. I kept every Remembering all the times you fought with me I'm surprised it got so Things aren't the way they were before You wouldn't even recognize me anymore Not It's hypnotizing back then, but it I'm hypnotized to me in the end. You kept everything inside And even though I tried It all fell apart What it meant to me will eventually be a memory Of a time when I tried so Yo, listening to a lot of Linkin Park and then revisiting this song, I'm listening to the song in a whole new light with a new appreciation for Chester. I was just listening to this song my whole life is like, oh yeah, Linkin Park, that's great, with just blindly listening to it, or I guess not really listening at all. I was hearing it, but I wasn't listening. It makes me just want to cry and literally just hug Chester. It's so sad. In terms of the musicianship, it's so easy when you're talking about Linkin Park to just commend Chester and Mike, but props to the drummer, man. Gotta throw him a bone too. He's fucking killing it, man. But dude, this song, listening to it a whole new light is, is strange, it really is. That's just a classic. That is a pillar rock song. A classic. Literally so good.
Man. This is a strange one, man, because the only meaning that I can tie from it, that I got from it, doesn't correlate with the rest of the album. This sounds like it's about a relationship that's doomed for failure, essentially. Kind of like a feeling you get whenever you want someone, and you've put in so much work, and they still don't want you back. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. I don't know if that's spot on or completely wrong. Like I said, that message to the song doesn't really go with the rest of the album, so that makes me hesitant to want to say that that's what the song's about. Oh, shit, man. I never knew this. Okay, we're, check this out, man. You gotta hear this. So the chorus, right? Right? The lyrics, I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. This chorus evokes existential nihilism. Don't know what the hell that means, but bear with me. Which posits that personal accomplishments and even life itself are without inherent meaning. Just her specific loss is about wasting time trying to build a relationship with a woman who didn't want him. Okay, so we got that. But his phrasing extends the idea of apathy to an applicable pursuit. The first two lines also correspond to a message that was left by a 15-year-old Charles Andrew Williams before he shot and killed two classmates at a high school in Santee, Santee, California in March 2001. Williams, now convicted to life in prison, had been bullied for large parts of his childhood and was likely depressed. This this links to the nihilistic feelings discussed in the song, although Williams was also suspected of being psychopathic. So what's nihilistic mean? Life is without objective meaning, purpose, or intrinsic value. That there's no real meaning to life. That we're all just here and like, what the fuck? Like, we're gonna put in all this work and we're gonna get nowhere. That's essentially what that means. And I had no idea, man. Even after listening to the song in that new light, the research told me something completely different that I would have never picked up on. I learned something. I hope you learned something. That was the classic In The End by Linkin Park. And that is where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the song, the script, this video, in general. That is all I got for you today. So keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact, though. Yeah, I love you guys so much, okay? Peace! Hey, either way it goes, I was born to be a screw-up. Do the wrong thing and I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, crew, got my back like pull-ups. Sipping on the liquor, but it goes straight through us. Squad full of killers and a swag like Jewish. You got a squad full of